flattering view of itself. I mean, if you look at actually living patterns and where demographics live, the, the fact is like Boston, significantly more segregated than, than most parts of Mississippi. Um, but sorry, go ahead. Well, so your question was? My question is that there are, that they were, they were in, they were enslaved and they're still? Yes, of course. There's a, well, not, well, still is the question. Right, so I've never denied, and I would never deny, because it would be idiotic, that, that blacks have been historically discriminated against in America in an unbelievable way, from slavery to Jim Crow. Of course that's true. Jim Crow was ended in the 1960s. The Civil Rights Act was passed in 1964. Last time I checked the calendar, it's now 2016. So it's been quite a while. And the fact is that the poverty rate in the black community was, was alleviating much more quickly before the rise of the Great Society, during Jim Crow, actually, uh, than, it, than it has since then. Uh, and and for, to take another example, as I said, the single greatest indicator of inter intergenerational poverty is single motherhood. The increased rate of single motherhood is certainly not due to discrimination. And the proof of that is that during Jim Crow, the actual single motherhood rate in the black community was 20%. Today, it's in excess of 70. What happened? Are people more racist now than they were back in 1960? Of course not. So you have to look to other factors for why people are behaving the way they are. So are there people who still suffer the after effects of historic discrimination? I think sure. I mean, the fact that if you don't have wealth from your grandfather because your grandfather couldn't be wealthy because he's a sharecropper in Alabama, yeah, of course. But that goes back to the earlier question, which is what can government do? What is government capable of doing without violating somebody else's rights? And the answer is not very much other than guarantee that I don't get in your way. And the beautiful thing about America now is that nobody gives a crap about you. Nobody gives a crap about anybody. And that's actually a good thing. Like, I don't think that as long as I don't spend my nights trying to determine how I can keep people down. And nobody really in America does very much. And because of that, as long as people are leaving you alone in a free country, it's your obligation to make your way. Now, I think that there's a myth that goes around that people can make it from poverty to extreme wealth in a generation. That happens. It does. And the fact is that according to the statistics, if you're in the bottom 20% of income earners, 95% of the people in the bottom 20% of income earners will be outside the bottom 20% of income earners within 15 years, according to the IRS statistics. That said, it's you know, rising to, to wealth as a family unit, for example, usually takes multiple generations. I mean, most of our great-grandparents, when they came here, were dirt poor, and now most of the people in this room are probably not. Right? And, and so the fact that there is a delay in that process for a lot of black folks is tragic and horrible, but it doesn't mean there's a shortcut. Not in a free country. Eli, Wilmington, North Carolina. Please go ahead, Eli. Actually, it's Ellie. A different gender. Ellie, I am so. Um, do you know what? No I'm reading problem. off an iPad, and that's exactly what it says. <laughs> I apologize. No problem at all. I don't want to use my time um, correcting that. Um, obviously, um, the gentleman, I don't want to promote his name, actually, um, it is quite intelligent. It's unfortunate that he kind of misuses it. Um, I am Jewish, and I have to so strongly object to his trying to portray his own misguided attempts at politics and talking fast. Not all Jews talk fast and promoting stereotypes. Number one, he does a great disservice to the Jewish people all over the world by promoting his stereotypes. And he's laughing at it, which I find, uh, I, I hold uh, what he's doing in disdain. I just came from a wonderful Jewish film festival here in Wilmington and saw uh, the film, The Jewish Cardinal. And this man and the um, Catholic uh, Polish clerics do, did far more when they smartened up and had a little more compassion for people than um, this guy has. And as, as far as how he treats Tell people... Tell you what, Ellie, politically, Ellie, do you disagree with Ben Shapiro when it comes to his politics as well? I'm sorry? Do you disagree with Ben Shapiro when it comes to his politics as well as... Uh, some of the things you've already mentioned. I do disagree with him um, with some of his politics, 
quite a lot, but it's a separate issue to promote some stereotypes against the Jewish people and using his Jewishness Terrific. to sell his... Let's get a response. That was Ellie in Wilmington, North Carolina, Ben Shapiro. Well, I, I really didn't realize that the grim reaper of the sense of humor was on the loose today. I mean, seriously. I mean, if, if the worst stereotype about Jews is that we speak quickly, I think we can deal with that. Uh, that really, that, that one ranks real low. On the list of stereotypes I'm going to worry deeply about. I'm, I'm going to worry significantly more about a president of the United States who's going to promote a nuclear bomb uh, in Iran and a president of the United States who has routinely leaked Israeli national security information and a Democratic Party that's gone along with him and a Republican Party that basically just signed off on it in the Senate. I'm going to worry more about that and less about whether Jews talk quickly. Kiss you, buddy. It's a no, kiss that it hurts. took off. Then I helped tackle. I helped tackle him. And he's like, I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. When the police came, he's like, somebody paid me to do it. Federal government. It's all of us. You're right. We the people. You're right. You're right. We the people. He's not going to help us. Pokemon. Pokemon. He will not help us. Pokemon. Hey, all he has to do is get out of the way. We're all Pokemon. We're all Pokemon. Hey, all, of, all we have to do is get the federal government out of our way. And all we need is the federal government gone, but me saying this makes me an absolute target. But I am against Trump completely in his ideals. It is not, it is not the person. Why, why? It is the idea, the energy behind it. You think so? You it's, think the, it's, it's, it's not him. Yeah. It's not Trump. Trump's a terrible person for why, other why reasons. Is, why is everybody against him, though? Everybody's against him because right it's right. incorrect. Why do you let celebrities rule your life? I'm not letting celebrities rule my life. You're about to. <laughs> you let actors rule everything what around you. What do you think Bernie Sanders is? He's you think? Celebrity. Yeah, Bernie's so he's terrible. Celebrity. I don't want any of them. Right. Fuck this government. Fuck this government. 
Especially, especially Trump, though. There's something about your mind that's wrong. And you're incorrect. And I'm telling you, you are wrong. This is coming from the people. I hear you. This is coming from the people. I'm not the only one. You'll, you'll see when it, when it happens. It's not going to be as bad as you think. Oh, no, it is bad. No. It's still bad. It's never good, but it's, it's never bad. You know what I mean? It's never been great. It's never been great. You're all falsities. Well, then, where are you going to? all falsities. Why don't you go live somewhere where it's better? Why don't I go somewhere that listens? Yeah. I would love to. You yeah. want to pay for that? You want to pay for me to get the fuck out of this shithole? No, you should, fuck you this should place. do it yourself. Yeah. Fuck yeah, this place. I do pay for myself to live. I still stay here. I abide by all of your rules, but you are all incorrect. You are all wrong. I'm a Bernie supporter. Give me some money. I don't like Bernie. I don't like people. I think you're all bacteria waste and you should all be eliminated. Freedom of speech. Check out that dude. Check out that dude. Yeah, what's it say? Oh, yeah. Sickle and hammer. Shut the fuck up. See what happens? Right. You're Trump! fucking wrong. You think so? Trump! You're wrong. Trump! 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 Vote for elitists. Vote for Trump. Vote for America. Yeah? You think that's what it's all about? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Follow the money. He's, he's spending his own money. Who, who got bailed out? Trump got bailed out. Wall Street. If communism so great, why don't you go live somewhere like North Korea? Why don't you shut up? Okay. That's all you got to say? I mean, if communism so great, go where there's communism. So you want free America as a capitalist country? Yeah, I think capitalism is a lot better than communism. I don't think all the poor people disagree. Really? No. That's all I got to say, buddy boy. That's all you got to say? Enjoy. George Soros, pay me to be there. I'll put that on camera. <laughs> I definitely will. <laughs> Did he give you that bucket? George Soros gave me this tattoo. George Soros paid for that tattoo. Paid for it. You know what? You actually are. He, he funds groups. He funds groups that, that trickle down to you guys. You guys, it's all part of it's all part of trickle down economics. I really don't think you understand. Okay. Okay. So George Soros says one free solidarity tattoo for each time you owe a, a pledge of allegiance to the globalist lizard people. Uh -huh. The, the globalist lizard people, they told me. I mean, I took my face mask off at this point, so I don't want to. Uh, yeah, the globalist lizard people, they pay me. Did you know George Soros and Obama and Bush? But I have the real secret for you. Trump's a lizard person also. Sorry about your microphone. Sorry. You were the guy who cried when you saw my InfoWars shirt on the video. Dude, I was yeah. laughing. You were crying. <laughs> you were crying. Infowars, Infowars, Infowars. Go to your channel. Oh, 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 were killed by China. Oh, that's why. How about all the people? Yeah, how many people does communism oh, kill? Like, at least 80 trillion. Yeah. Like, 800 trillion, billion, million, trillion, billion, billion. So you think that's good? Billion, trillion, billion, trillion, million, billion, billion, trillion. Billion, trillion, quintillion, trillion, billion, million, trillion, trillion. Are you looking forward to the purge? Quintillion, million, trillion, billion, quintillion, billion, trillion. Wait, I, am I missing a quintillion? Oh, sorry. You missed, you missed at least like three zeros. Okay, sorry. Quintillion, quintillion, trillion, billion people. That's roughly how many? Okay, but the bottom line is George Soros, George Soros paid me. But here's the real secret. George Soros is actually Donald Trump, and they're both lizard people. You know what's going on in Venezuela right now? The poor people are getting screwed, too. Oh, my gosh. You named a country. Good work. I bet you can't put it on a map. You know, I bet you I can. Wait, wait. I think I can name another country where poor people are getting screwed. Yeah. America. Canada? There's a few things I like to say. Listen, sure, go ahead. here's the problem with Trump that we have in this country right now. If we vote for Trump, we might as well vote for Saddam Hussein. We might as well vote for Adolf Hitler. Here's why. Trump number one. Trump has a Hello, everyone. Hey, I'm just stopping by to remind you that liberals are insane. <laughs> Social justice warriors are becoming more violent and triggered than ever before. 
anyways be sure to subscribe to KGP TV on YouTube and have a blessed day.